Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Can you actually believe it is October already? I know we say this every year, but it really does feel like this year has truly just flown by. And yeah, because we are at the end of another quarter, I thought I would share an update on my passive income report for the third quarter this year. And I have to be honest with you, it's not looking pretty good. But yeah, let's dive into the detail. I'm Kozan from Financial Madness, helping you be better with your money. Cool, so let's get straight into the report. So the first one is obviously interest. That is your sort of generic one. So I actually only got 8p across all of my bank accounts. And I think that is because I've started to downsize the amount of accounts that I used to have. So yeah, that is a minus of 42p. But to be honest, I don't really care because interest rates are pretty rubbish at the moment. So yeah, that doesn't really bother me. Now the next one is the cooperative rewards. Now I did mention in my earlier video was that because I do bank with the cooperative bank, because I have a set a number of direct debits on their current account, they actually reward me with these co-op rewards. And that used to be sort of five pounds per month. Then it got reduced to two pounds 50 per month. And then as you can see, it's gone down even further to about sort of one pound 25 per month. So over the last uh, three months, I only managed to accumulate two pounds 42. That is another minus of £2.83 compared to my month previous. Moving on to user testing. Now this is another form of side hustle income that I really enjoy. Uh, do check out my earlier video if you have no clue what I'm talking about. Uh, I'll put the link in the cards as always. But for this uh, quarter, I only managed to accumulate £42 in testing. That is minus of £21 compared to my previous quarter. And that's because I really got into it sort of at the beginning of July and then yeah, sort of life took over and yeah, I just wasn't able to check the website as regularly. And if you don't check the website as often, really difficult to get access to, to a lot of the tests. So that is one key tip. If you do do user testing, just make sure you always have the dashboard up and be ready to click on any surveys that do become available. On eBay, I didn't actually do much this month. I used to have a lot of luck with my Pokemon cards being sold, but uh, the last quarter, I don't think I actually sold any. What I did sell was an old kettle and I got a nice little five pounds from that. Vinted as well, managed to sell an old polo shirt for 10 pounds and that was minus 12 pounds from the previous quarter. And yet also going back to eBay, that was minus 16 pounds 90 from the previous quarter. So I'm not doing very good, but everything so far has been a minus since the last quarter and you'll see that is gonna be a trend going forward. Now the next one on the list is Google surveys and this is when you get random surveys to do from Google. And as rewards, you get Google Play Store credit. Now, this is actually the first increase from the last quarter. So yay for me. And yeah, I managed to accumulate two pounds and 51 pence. That's an increase of 83 pence from my last quarter. So yeah, not a big increase. Next one is Amex rewards. Now this is very similar to my previous quarter, to be honest. Uh, so I managed to get 42 pounds and 80 pence in rewards. And that is an increase of five pounds 30. Match betting. This was another side hustle scheme that I was quite into um, sort of the beginning of this year. Yeah, and I just really dropped the ball on this one this uh, quarter. So yeah, as you can see in the last quarter report, I managed to get 192,002 pence. This quarter, zero. The ninth thing on the list is parking. Now, you may have heard from my previous videos that I actually do rent out my private driveway. And I do actually have someone who has booked it out on a monthly basis and they've just rented it out for the last three months. Um, and that has given me sort of roughly 50 pounds per month. So this quarter I actually got 147 pounds and 30 pence from parking. Now I did mention in my previous video that because I do have a private driveway and it's only enough for one car, because of that, I did actually pay for a parking permit, which cost me 75 pounds for the year so that I can just park on the general street. And now the fact that I've accumulated over 75 pounds from parking, I've actually broken even and made a nice profit from it, which is great news. So the 10th thing on this list is Airbnb. You may recall that during the renovation of my house, when we moved in at the beginning of this year, we actually made a little outback in our garden uh, and converted it into sort of a living space with its own private entrance and an ensuite bathroom. And we've put this room on Airbnb. So this month we've managed, not this month, this quarter, we've managed to accumulate 477 pounds and 18 pence. And, and this is minus 551 pounds and two pence compared to my previous quarter. So I'm not too disheartened by this, to be honest, because 
because if you recall from my Q2 report, that £1,000 number was always going to be an anomaly because we didn't want actually someone living in that room for such a long time. And for the first period of months, because we were going on holiday, we actually rented out for two months straight, which gained us a lot of income. And then obviously this quarter, we haven't done that. That's generated us an income of just under £500. And I'm going to expect that to be quite similar as the months go on. Final one on this list is actually very recent. So we actually got a letter through the post asking us if we wanted to participate as a household in an Oxford University led research based on the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So what this requires is that we'll get monthly visits from one of the researchers who will do sort of a, a general swab, ask us general questions about if we've had any symptoms, uh, our lifestyle, whether we've traveled to work, whether we work from home, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we actually had our first visit uh, about two weeks ago and on the first visit, you get a £50 free voucher. So yeah, so we've got a £50 voucher, which can be used in major retailing stores. So yeah, my grand total for my passive incomes for the last three months have been £779.29. There's actually a minus of £638.59. And the monthly average has obviously decreased too. So I'm now on £259.76, and this is a decrease of £212.86. Cool, so that is it for this week's episode. I hope you found that somewhat insightful. Yeah, generally speaking, I hope in my future sort of passive report income videos that I won't always be showing a negative trend in my reports. I'm hoping this is just gonna be a small temporary blip. I already kind of understand where I went wrong in the last three months and how I can probably rectify that going forward. Um, I am still learning all this. Uh, it is still very fresh and I think it's quite important to demonstrate that someone who is sort of starting out in sort of the personal finance uh, spectrum. I don't know if it's the right word to say. Uh, but yeah, it, it can get quite difficult at times. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to demonstrate what my experience has been like early on in my journey. So yeah, hope you found that useful. Do let me know if you do have any questions. I'll be sure to get back to you. And as always, if you did like this video, I would really appreciate if you smash that like button. That does wonders for the growth of my YouTube channel. And remember, if you want to keep up to date with all my further content, hit the subscribe button too. See you later. Bye.